Hey guys, Jacoby here, and for this stop motion tutorial episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to use a green screen like how I did for this picture and this clip of Spider-Man Homecoming Part 3 you're looking at right now. It's not the best green screen, but I did my best to keep the green usable because I did have a blue and green figure out on the set, and in this episode I'll get into why that's a problem and much more that you can learn. Now obviously for this you're going to need a green screen, maybe like a neon poster board from Michaels or a craft store, and you're going to need some lighting, you know, to light up the area for the green screen, and you're going to need a figure of course. I suggest the Stop Motion Studio Pro app because it's the one I'm going to be using for this tutorial, and because it's a very good stop motion app that has a green screen, voiceover, and so much more that I explained in the first episode of the stop motion tutorial series. Now of course you're going to want to open a brand new project or one you're already working on and open the camera. You should have your green screen clearly visible behind the figure and set the figure how you'd like. Make sure the non-green screen parts are not showing because the green screen only covers what is green. Once you've set it up where you want it, press the button next to the grid and select green screen. When you've done that, your green screen should turn black with a trash can symbol on it and if you don't have that I'll explain later. But if yours is grainy with a bit of green showing it, uh, you just have to adjust your lighting and make it fully black. When you're happy with how it is and you have it on green screen, you can go down here and adjust your sensitivity. This could be why your green screen is not showing up the way you want it. If you have it all the way to the left, scroll to the right until it shows up. This adjusts how sensitive your green screen is to your lighting. You can even use the options above to adjust your lighting and it also helps out with the green screen. You can even adjust your physical lamps in case you don't have the options above and it does help out with the green screen a lot. When you're done with that, you can go back to the backdrop menu at the bottom and select backdrop. It should give you these options and when you go to the theme, it should give you six items to choose from. You can bring your character to the beach or the ocean, doesn't fit the Nightwing character but it can suit Aquaman or Namor. I'm going to explain why the green screen was tough in Spider-Man stop motion. You can have a blue screen in this app, but having a blue and a green figure in the same shot would mean that one of them would be discolored. For example, here Nightwing has the perfect shade of blue for a blue screen. Now his logo has become the screen when you adjust the blue screen. So make sure your screen isn't the color of one of the figures on the set you're using. To have a suiting background for a character like Nightwing who would be on the rooftop of Gotham or something, you can search some pictures online for the desired image to suit your figure. So yeah guys, that's how you green screen in the Stop Motion Studio Pro app. Hope this helped you, and comment down below what I should cover next. See you guys in the next video.